nice and tall. Big giant posture, take it to a nice easy march. And I want you to do a deep breath in, raise your arms all the way up, try to get your back up as straight as you can, hands up nice and high. Good, big exhale, bring those arms down, just kind of loosey-goosey through the arms, let your trunk relax, let your arms swing. One more time, nice deep breath in, raise those arms all the way up towards the ceiling, stretch up as tall as you can, get the top of your head up, get those hands up, get that spine straight. Good, big exhale, release your arms down. Take your march out wide. Pump those arms nice and easy. So you're kind of shifting your weight side to side, picking up those knees, pumping those arms. Good, get your, starting to get your body a little bit warmer, right? Awesome job. 10 more times, nice easy march. Once you start picking those knees up, keep your posture up, keep your eyes looking straight ahead, okay? Eyes are straight ahead, chest is lifted, tummy muscles are in, nice and tight. Bigger arm movements, bigger arm movements, bigger weight shifts, good. Now we're gonna reach to the side. So we're gonna reach left and right, left, and right, I want you to get your weight mostly over to that one foot. Big weight shift, big reach, good. Big weight shift, big reach. Those of you that have a little better balance, you can think about going onto that one leg all by itself, okay? Shift it over, good. Big weight shift, make it bigger. So we're gonna keep our intensity up, right? And we're gonna do that partially by moving big, keeping our amplitude big. Good, you got it, four more times. Big weight shift, big reach, three more, two more. Good, now we're gonna take those reaches up to the ceiling, reach up, big reach up, up, up. Good, even bigger, like you're trying to touch the ceiling. Good, get up there. Now, if you have a hurdy shoulder or something or another hurdy area in your body today, remember you can modify everything that we do, okay? So we're looking to get a good workout in. We're not looking to have you have pain, okay? Keep shifting your weight. Big weight shift, big reach, good. Eight more, good, make it big. Seven, you got it. Six, good, I like that amplitude. Keep it up, keep it up. Four more, you got it. Three more, warming up the whole body. Two more, good. We're gonna take those reaches across the body. So we're gonna reach across, reach across, reach across and up, good. Big stretch out through the side of your back and your side bodies, good. Get a little rotation through your shoulders. Think about reaching to the corners of your space, good. Make it bigger, make it bigger. You got it. Big weight shift, good. Four more times, you can do it. Three more, good. Two more, good. Squat it down, squat it down. You're gonna squat, open up the chest nice and big. Squat down, big open chest. Sit your butt back, open it up. Sit your butt back. Open it up. So I want you to pretend like there's a chair behind you. Squat and open. Squat and open. Squat and open. Good, keep going. You're warming up those legs. From the side, it looks like this. Don't let your knees go past your toes. So you're sticking your butt out like you have a chair behind you that you're trying to sit in, okay? That's how you're gonna check your form. When you bring those arms out to the side, pull your shoulder blades together. Nice and big, take those hands open, nice and wide. Good, you got it. Four more, good. Three more, two more, good. Hold that squat position, hold that squat position. Arms up, nice and big, hold that squat. Tummy is in, chest is lifted. Open and close your hands a few times. Make it big, not little movements. Open, close. Big hands, close. All the way open. Good, all the way open, hold that squat. Four, three, two, good. Squat it down, here we go. Squat, 
big open. Squat and open. Squat and open. Good. This time we're going to squat and turn. Squat and turn. You're going to switch sides every time. You're going to open your arms big. Look to the back. Squat and look to the back. Squat, look behind you. Squat, look behind you. Squat, don't keep looking at me. You've got to look where you're turning. Look behind you. Find the back of your space. Big turn. Squat, big turn. Squat, big turn. You got it. Four more times. Let's go. Three more. Big turn. Two more. Good. Alternating jabs towards me. Jab. Jab. I want to see your power stance. Bend your knees a little bit. Bend your hips. Get low. Power stance means you're ready. Okay? You're ready for whatever we're going to do. You're ready. Out and in with those jabs. Let's go. Good. You got it. Four more times. You can do it. Three more. Stay low. Shift your weight. Move your trunk. You can do it. Good. Take it to hooks towards me. You're going to hook. Hook. That side of the face and down. Hook and down. Hook and down. Warming up those shoulders. Shift your weight. You got it. Let's go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. March or jog in place. March or jog. All right. Grab a quick drink. I want you to go ahead and find your chair. Find your chair, grab some water. All right, we are going to start with tricep dips. So you're going to grab your chair. You're going to grab your chair. Remember, these are endurance exercises, right? So we're going to do it for time, okay? Go ahead and take a seat in your chair. You're going to take a seat in your chair. You're going to bring your hands underneath your shoulders, okay? Hands are going to be underneath your shoulders. You're going to step your feet away from the chair. The further your feet are away from the chair, the harder it's going to be, okay? So I want you to keep that in mind. You're going to think about bending and straightening your elbows, okay? Like that. So let's say that you can't go down as far. You can only bend your elbows a little bit. That's fine, okay? You can walk your feet out a little bit more if you want to make it more challenging. You can also pick one leg up if you want to make it more challenging. Switch every few repetitions, okay? Here we go. Down and up. Starting the clock. So it's not a race because we got to do it for 90 seconds regardless. So we're going to push ourselves. I want those last few repetitions to be hard. So once it starts getting hard, try to do one or two more repetitions, okay? So down and up. You're focusing in on the back of the arm. Down and up. Down and up. Good. Don't forget to breathe. Breathing's important, okay? Bending and straightening at the elbows. This is focusing on the back of the arm. Let's see if we can do a few more. Few more, then we'll take a mid-set break. Few more. Good. If you want, one arm back behind your head. You're gonna pull that arm in towards your head, stretch out the back of the arm. Good, yep. Just a really brief stretch. You should feel that right through here. Switch sides. Good, pull that elbow in, reaching down for the back. We're gonna do one more set. We're gonna shoot for 10 repetitions. Three, two, one, relax your arms, lift your butt up. Here we go. 10, nine, down and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All the way up to your feet. Walk or jog it out. Keep moving your body. Remember, in between sets, our goal intensity is six to eight out of 10. Okay, in between sets, you're going to keep moving. So try not to stop moving. You got it. Keep moving your body. All righty. I want you to go ahead and grab both of your weights. Grab both of your weights. We are going to take it to a, 
a goblet squat. So we're gonna hold those weights right at our chest. I want you to step your feet out nice and wide. If you want your chair, okay, it could be to the side or in front of you might be easier, okay? We're gonna hold our weights. Here's our weights. We're gonna hold them right here at our chest. If it's easier for you, you can kind of bring your hands together. I want you to take your feet wider than shoulder width apart and turn your toes and knees out to the side, okay? Big giant posture. So chest is up, head is back over your spine. Where's your belly? Your belly is in. You're gonna bend, point your tailbone straight to the floor, straighten all the way up. When you straighten up, I want you to think about squeezing your thighs and your butt, okay? Keeping your tummy in nice and tight, all right? Three, two, one, here we go, down and up. 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 Good, four more times. So really think about keeping your tummy tight. Squeezing your thighs, squeezing your glutes. Good, hold it, hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now we're gonna go down and punch up. So we're gonna go down, punch up. Down, punch up. Down, punch up. Down, punch up. Four more, stand up nice and tall. Three more, you got it. Two more, good. Weights come back to your chest. Squat it down and up. Good, remember this is endurance, right? Tummy is tight, really focus on your form. Down and up. Four more singles, you got it. Three more. Abs are in, you should feel your tummy muscles working. Hold it at the bottom, hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Down and punch up, last four. Down, punch it up. Down, stand up tall. Down, punch it up. Down, last one. Safely put those weights down, walk or jog it out. Woo, we're going to the floor. Find a piece of carpet, find your mat. We're going hands and knees, okay? Use your chair if you need to to get down to the floor. We're going hands and knees, hands and knees, okay? I'm gonna show you from the front first. We're gonna do alternating arm and leg lift. You've done this before, okay? So, the goal is to keep your back flat like a table. You're gonna send one leg back. So say your left arm and your right leg, okay? opposites all right so left arm right leg you have options you can lift your leg up as long as you don't do this okay so you want your back to be flat like a table i want you to pretend like you have a glass of water on your back that's how flat i want your back to be okay so hands and knees we're gonna alternate ready Left leg, right arm, three, two, one. Here we go, you're reaching through your heel. Your foot is flexed, you're reaching through your fingertips. Good, tummy is nice and tight, we're just holding. Top of your head is forward, you're breathing. Good, switch sides. All right, if you're not down on the floor and you wanna do this on the, ch on the, on the chair, you're gonna do that modified on the chair, just like this. Okay, keep going, switch sides. When you lift your leg up, I want you to flex your foot. Switch sides. Good. You're squeezing the back of your hip here. Tummy is in, don't arch your back. Switch. Good, you're breathing. Good, switch. Last time, we're gonna change it up, you guys. Listen carefully, so switch sides. Now I want you to pull your knee and your elbow towards each other. On those legs, the, those, your arm and leg that's lifted, you're gonna pull everything in towards the center of your body, like you're curling your back, your spine. Then you're gonna reach it out, okay? Curl it in to the center, reach it out. Curl it in, reach it out. One more, curl it in, 
Reach it out. Switch sides. Switch sides. Back is flat. Curl it in. So knee towards your elbow. And then reach it long. Curl it in. Round your back. Reach it long. Curl it in. Round. Straighten it out. One more. Curl it in. Straighten it out. Three, two, one. Make your way slowly back up. Use the chair if you need to. Grab some water. Find that chair. We're going back to tricep dips. Okay? Back to tricep dips. Perfectly fine to take a mid-set break if you need it. Okay? So, we're going down to our chair. We're taking a seat. If you want to make it harder, you can try lifting one leg up for a few repetitions. So, get your butt up off the chair. Three, two, one, here we go. Down and up. Slow and controlled. You're doing the range of motion that you can do, okay? Maybe you're lifting a leg, you switch every few repetitions, okay? Remember, this is about endurance. Maybe you start getting tired, so maybe you put both feet on the floor. Down and up, down and up. Keep pushing yourself. You can do it. Good, you got it. You got it, couple more. Couple more, good. Two more. Take a seat, I want you to move your arms. Mid-set break, 15 seconds. Shake it out. You're gonna give me one more set if you can, okay? Try to crank out a few more reps, you can do it. All right, coming back to the chair. We ready? Let's go. Get our butts up off the chair. Down and up. Here we go. Down and up. Right? Keep pushing yourself. You can do this. Let's go. You got it. We're going to try to do four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Come all the way up. Walk or jog it out. Keep moving your bodies, okay? I want to see you standing still. Keep moving. Check in with yourself. In a few minutes, we're going to do a check-in for intensity, okay? So the goal is that you're between 6 and 8 out of 10 on that intensity or exertion scale. So if you're sitting lower, I want you to see what you can do to try to increase your intensity. So maybe it's more repetitions. Maybe it's taking the more challenging option. If you feel like you're working too hard, I want you to try to scale it back a little bit if you're not comfortable with where you're working, okay? Grab your weights. We're going back to goblet squats. Weights are going to be at your chest. Chair if you need them for balance. Remember, you're taking your feet out nice and wide. Turn your toes and your knees out. We're going to squat down. Come all the way up. So this is a great hip opening exercise too, right? So you're getting some good range of motion in your hips. Maybe you can't go down as far as you'd like to. That's okay. You're keeping your chest up. You're keeping your tummy tight. You're going as far as you feel comfortable. Come all the way straight at the top, really focusing in on that nice long spine position. Looking straight ahead with your eyeballs. Bending your knees, straightening them. So we're making our movements really big and purposeful, right? Do it with me. You got it. Big bend, big stand up. Big bend, big stand up. Four more times. You got it. Three more. So if this is challenging enough for you, you're going to keep doing this. If you want to make it harder, you're going to add that punch up. Okay? Do you have to do that? Nope. You got it. All the way down, all the way up. Think about reaching for the floor, up to the sky. Floor, sky. Tummy is in, chest is up. Looking straight ahead. Let's go. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Two more. Down, big stand. Last one, big stand. Walker jog. All right, cross body balance. I, if you can get to the floor, I'd like you on your hands and knees. Okay, if you're not going to the floor, but you want to still do this, you're going to use the seat of your chair. Okay, so you can use the seat of your chair just like this. 
One leg goes back, opposite arm goes back. Okay? If you can get to the floor, let's do it. Because even just that transition of down and up from the floor, it's really good functional training, right? You're moving your body through different positions. Very important. All right. We're going belly in. You pull your belly in. I got my glass of water sitting on your back. Remember, that's how you got to keep your back nice and flat. Three, two, one. You're going to lift your left leg and your right arm. Let's go. Hold it up there. Good. Good. Hold it up there. Your tummy is tight. You're working that core. Switch sides. Left arm, right leg. If you're lifting your right leg, I want you to flex your foot so your knee is nice and straight. Your ankle is flexed. You're reaching through your heel and your fingertips. Switch. You got it. You're balancing. You can do it. If you can't quite lift that foot up off the floor, that's okay. I just want you to keep your toes down on the floor then. Switch. You got it. But you're straightening that knee on that leg you're lifting. You're straightening your knee. You should feel your hip and your core. Switch. You got it. Good. We're going to start doing that curl into the center after this one. Switch again. So you're going to think about when you're curling it into the center, elbow towards your knee, switch, and you're going to round your back. Three, two, one. Here we go. So we're going to pull it in, and then we're going to reach it out. Curl your back, and reach it out. Bring it to that nice C shape. Extend it out. Pull it in. Reach out. Good. Two more. Reach out. Last one. Good. Hold it up there. Three, two, one. One, switch sides, okay? We're gonna do our best, and if you want to, again, this is another addition, this is a challenge, curl to center. Curl, straighten out. Elbow to your knee, straighten out. Curl, straighten. Curl, straighten. Curl, straighten. Curl, straighten. Last one, hold it up there, three, Two, one, and release it. Come all the way up to your feet. Grab some water. March or jog in place. We're going one minute cardio break. March or jog in place. I want you to try to pick those feet up. So even if you're marching, I want you to try to get your knees up. Okay? Pick them up. Here we go. Keep moving. You got this. After this, we'll do a little check-in. Woo! Grab some water. Pump those arms. Let's go. Make it big. Get those knees up. Move, move, move. Right? You gotta keep moving. Keep moving. You can do it. Let's go. 